Welcome to Proven Improbable, where we focus on metals, mining, and more. I'm your host, Maurice Jackson. Joining us today is Ross McElroy of Fission Uranium, and we're live at the Sprott Natural Resource Symposium in Vancouver, British Columbia. Ross, thank you for joining us. Good morning, Maurice. Good to see you. Ross, there's always exciting news with Fission Uranium. Let's discuss the always continuing expansion of the mineralized trend. Sure. It's, uh, we're right into the, the guts of our summer uh, program right now up at PLS. And part of the uh, the program is focused on drilling on our new discovery that we made this winter called the R1515W. Now that's a kilometer and a half west of the main Triple R deposit, and it's on that same mineralized trend that the deposit exists on. So we've seen other bits of mineralization, but this thing looks pretty substantial. We like what we're uh, what we're seeing on the 1515. We've put out uh, news now in the first two holes. There's a, seven holes that are being drilled on the new discovery this summer. We've already announced the, the first two holes. They've exceeded expectations. I mean, it's, you know, it's nice to, to hit the mineralization that we knew was there from previous holes and trying to expand on. But I think more significantly is that when we step back, we hit other lenses that we weren't expecting. And so what that's done is quickly broadened the width of the 1515 west zone to over 45 meters, uh, which is pretty impressive. So we're seeing multiple stack lenses. Uh, and the grade should probably be good, and we know that from the radioactivity, but I guess what I'm point is, is that the, the drilling so far is, uh, is going according to plan and exceeding. Well, the press releases are quite exciting to me, and I know shareholders are delighted. Now, Fission is using this two-prong approach right now. Let's talk about exploration drilling. Sure, okay, so the two-pronged approach that, that we're talking about, we have the, the main triple R deposit that we're moving towards pre-feasibility stage, because ultimately we see this as being an economic deposit. And so the stages that, that we go to advance it, we've already done the, well, first of all, in 2015, we did the resource estimate, yes. followed up about eight months later with the preliminary economic assessment. That's the first uh, scoping level, the engineering scoping level. Um, the next stage is pre-feasibility, and that's what we're working on right now. So we'll probably get to that in, in around the end of 2018. That's our target. And after that would be feasibility, and then ultimately your production decision. So that's what's happening on the main bulk of the, of the deposit. So we're doing some engineering drilling and metallurgical uh, work to evaluate that. And on the other hand is the R15, uh, 15 west drilling on the new discovery zone, that's the second prong of the approach. So we call that the exploration drilling, the other one the advanced uh, project development. It's quite exciting. You know, in your opinion here, looking six months down the road, what could be a catalyst for the share price? Well, there's uh, always we're improving on the, on the project. There's no question. It seems every season that we that we go into PLS, we're adding something new that we didn't have before, making the zones bigger, finding new discoveries. I mean, this has been a hallmark of this project, which yes. is pretty uh, significant as it is. Ultimately, we are still tied to the price of uranium. Uh, we always will be. Um, it, the, you know, and right now the uranium price is at a it, historically low prices. Um, we don't think that will last. We don't know how long it'll take for a significant change and an increase in the price of the commodity, but we know the fundamentals are there they are. That, that should drive the price up. Uh, reactors are being built. They're coming online. There's more operating now than any time in history. There's plenty being put on, primarily in China. India is soon to follow. Um, so we know that that part's there. We, we know that the price of uranium is bound for a sharp correction upwards at some point. It's uh, people's crystal balls are, are you know a little dusty, a little murky, if you will. Nobody can pick that timing. Whether it's in the next six months, uh, possibly, maybe a little longer. I think that'll be an important catalyst to see the price of uranium go up. But uh, but still, I'd say as we continue to find new and truly significant. Uh, 
additions at the PLS project that will also be an important catalyst that should continue to uh, to raise the share price. Well, you know, I just want to share with our listeners here today. When you look at the value proposition that uranium has, it's quite exciting. Rick Rule and I have discussed it online, offline. Right. So it's not just yourself, but then you also look at what management has been doing and the technical team and the continuous expansion of the mineralized trend. It's amazing what's going on there. For shareholders, the symbol is FCU, and on the OTC, it's FCUUF. Ross, if someone wants to get more information regarding Fission Uranium, give them the website and contact details. Well, our website is fissionuranium.com, uh, and from there you can access all the links to the to the news, to the management, to the, the team, the corporate team, the technical team, all the... Uh, all the occurrences that are happening up at PLS right now, so I encourage shareholders to visit our website. Uh, we're here at the Sprott Conference, obviously, so come by the booth, uh, do talk to us, and uh, and contact the company at, you know, at any time. We certainly encourage our listeners to please make that phone call, check out the website. Ross McElroy of Fission Uranium, thank you for joining us today on thank Proven you. and Probable. Thank you for joining us today on Proven and Probable. Remember to like and subscribe for more conversations with the most respected names in the natural resource space. Check out our website at www.provenandprobable.com. The information presented on Proven and Probable is provided for educational and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information is not intended to be and does not constitute financial, investment, or trading advice, or any other advice. You should not make any financial, investment, or trading decision based on any of the information presented without first undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or competent financial advisor.